In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to join the separate sections that are indicated by these lines into one image that is fillable and will cut as one entity. You notice if I take this job right here and I fill it in, we do have a solid fill, but the problem is, is that if I go into wireframe mode and I zoom in on this, you notice that I have breaks here. Again, if I'm just raster engraving, this probably isn't going to be too big of a deal, but if I want to vector cut this out, this is going to be a problem. You notice down here in the bottom here, this says curve on layer one. What that tells me is that right now this is considered by the software, uh, by Corel itself, that this is just one entity. I need to break this down into the separate entities. Uh, and if you notice, I come in here under group. This is not highlighted. And a lot of people tend to have an issue here uh, and get confused thinking that this should be, uh, should, should be able to break this down through the group function. Again, if I look up over in the object manager, you'll also notice that this is a solid curve, just one entity. So the way to break this down into the separate entities here is to go into object and break curve apart. You'll notice now that in the object manager, I've actually got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 entities. Okay. Now what I can do now is if you, if I select this, I can actually move this out of the way. Or I couldn't do that before. Again, if I go back into a solid and in, on my enhanced view and I take my C here, that's fillable. And that's fillable, but by itself. I, I can't select, sometimes you can select the whole entity here and we can go up to the weld command and weld this. Uh, but you'll notice that I've lost the inside of my G's and S's, but also I, it, it hasn't actually filled this area in here. I still have a separated entity. So the question becomes, how do I bring this together quickly and, and be able to uh, join this back together so that we can become one solid line that I can cut out? So if I undo this, Easiest way to do this for this entity here is to zoom in on here. Now we've got a couple of options here. Again, if I select this and I move zoom in on here, if I hit the left arrow key on the keyboard, I get a fairly long movement, which I don't want to do. If I hold the control key down and then hit the left arrow key, I get a shorter one, but again, that's still a little bit too much for me. So what I want to do is I want to go right click on my ruler here and we're just going to go to the ruler setup and I'm going to drop my nudge down to say let's go 0 0.01. Now I'm going to hit the left arrow button and I have a lot smaller nudge. Now what I can do is if I zoom out I can take these two entities together. I'm going to select them, both of them. And if I click on the weld tool here, you'll notice now I've got a solid image. So all I need to do now is I need to go over to these. Before I go on and do the U and the D, what I want to do with the D here, I want to select it. I want to combine it. So it becomes one entity, and then I want to come in here and I want to take my, it doesn't really matter which one I move, the left arrow, if I hit the left arrow button on the keyboard, I get a bit of a movement, and I can select this, and we can weld that together, and if we move over here, we can take Zoom in on here, and then what I can do is I'll take this entity and I'll bring it back. I'll hit the right arrow key this time. And then if we hold the shift key down and I select the R, do another weld. And then we're going to do the same thing 
with my eye. Hit the left arrow button, hold the shift key down, make sure you're right on the line, do a weld, and slide over. Now again, I've got, I've got to combine these two together here so I don't fill in the middle of the S. And then we'll hit the left arrow key, hold the shift key down, weld. And we'll select this, and we'll go a couple of clicks, hold the shift key down, do a weld. And then again, if I want, I can take my N, and we're going to go across, there we go. Well, and then we just need to combine the G object, combine, and I'll move that, zoom in on this a little bit, arrow key, move across, some overlap, hold the shift key down, all together. Shift F4 to go back out. Now if I take this image and I fill it, and I go to my view, enhanced, you notice that I get a fillable object now. The question is, what about if I want to bring in the O and the U together, which again is fine. What you can do here is, let's go back to wireframe and I'm going to move this across, or we could extend this across. Maybe let's extend this across. My, uh, let's bring this over a little bit this way. And then let's just zoom in on this. I'm going to go to the Shape tool, and I'm going to select these two here, and I'm going to hold the, bring this across, and we just got to get our overlap. You may want to just maybe want to get rid of this right here. There we go. That works. Make sure we have some. This is an over top of this line here. We want to be inside this line. So let's hold, uh, let's select this object and let's hold this one and let's weld that. And you notice I've got it combined here. And now this is all joined. And again, if I want to do the same thing on this one, it really depends on how we want to move this. We can move this across a little bit. Let's bring it up a little bit. Let's zoom in on this. Click on this, grab these two nodes. You're just going to hold the shift key down a little bit, or the control key down, so this will come across fairly straight. And again, if I want, I can get rid of these. and give me a little bit better curvature. And then all I need to do now is to hold the shift key down and select this one, and then I can come in here and then do a weld. Well, again, that's now all one entity. If I go back to View, Enhanced, you'll notice that I've got a solid fill. And again, I can fill these in too if I needed to. I've got my red cut line. Everything's joined together. You'll notice in the, in the Object Manager now that my two, my two dots here, uh, if I delete those out just for simplicity, just for viewing, you'll notice I have, one in, I have only the one curve now. And this, the software is now considering this object to be one. You see down here it says curve on line one, which basically means that I have just the one curve.